Well, you've seen the stories more than once here. There is a serious shortage of police officers in some local departments. Norfolk has one of the biggest shortages. We're talking with the city manager about what's being done to retain and recruit and about the future of the department as a whole. Ted on your sides, John Dowding has the interview you'll see only on 10. John? Yeah, well, Tom and Lena, one word can categorize the future of the department change. A lot of the changes are meant to remedy manpower shortages. There's also a hope that they'll strengthen what Filer describes as a progressive police department. This is going to be a progressive policing department. We are not going backward in this department. And with a focus on the future, Norfolk City Manager Chip Filer says their work to overcome present day challenges starts with collaboration. We're working with the Center for Policing Equity. Uh, CPE is helping us think about actual metrics and measures for community policing. And then also, how do you incorporate that into merit based pay raises and, and uh, promotion? Pay and the work environment are two challenges city leaders have had to address to improve retention within their ranks. The council has spent the last two years aggressively trying to address pay differentials between Norfolk, uh, the Norfolk Police Department and other departments. To address low recruitment, Filer says they started a large scale nationwide marketing campaign. We do believe that we have a distinct advantage uh, at attracting officers that have been with extremely large police forces in cities like New York, Baltimore, Chicago, Seattle, uh, that maybe would like to take a bit of a step back. And so far, it's working. Filer says recruitment is up threefold compared to the last two years. But Filer says the department isn't down by as many officers as previously reported. The department is budgeted for 775 officers, but this department functions well at 680 to 690 officers. So in this period of time right now where we are about 120 officers away from that number, as previously reported, officers will take on a hybrid approach as they restructure the department. Most of the restructuring in order to enhance patrolling is taking folks off of dedicated task force and specialized unit activity. The biggest position they need to fill, the chief of police. Filer says they just started the search. They want a large and diverse pool of internal and external candidates. I can assure all the men and women in the Norfolk Police Department that the next chief is only going to move this department forward. We are not going to go backward. Now, as far as when they may get a new chief, Filer says they're currently on track to have them hired by early to mid-October. The city will also get public input on the search for the next chief. We'll let you know when they have town halls to get public input. We'll let you guys know when they schedule them. I'm John Dowding, 10 on your side.